I like playing with um, like mirrored instruments. I mean, we're doing different things. Like you've got preparations, and I've got some keyboard and stuff. But the like when there's similar sound sources. In this case, like nylon string guitar. Um, even though obviously we're doing quite different things, the they share a timbral space, mm -hmm. so we can kind of make almost like a one, like the two guitars almost make one instrument, on top of which then we have like vocals or the keyboard and there's more than two things happening, even though there's two of us, but the one thing that we're both doing fuses somewhat into one, which is for me quite interesting as a listener, which is very different when you watch it. Like when you see somebody, you can like, I can see you're doing a sound and I can see that I'm doing a sound. But when you just listen, they can kind of blur a bit, which is quite um, beautiful. Like I often end up in that situation a bit more with like multiple percussionists or multiple drummers where there's objects involved and then it's like, Sometimes you don't even know who's doing what, um, but it makes like one, one gesture that's uh, independent of both of us, which is, yeah. Yeah, I agree. It's quite beautiful. And also for me, it creates some kind of distortion, like in time somehow, mm. because of this uh, common gesture. It's not, uh, as I said, it's not the same gesture, but as it's uh, the same source somehow, it's... Uh, yeah, they blend in a way that they distort time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, all, it almost feels like there's like another another musician here and, and we're both feeding them. Mm -hmm. like, like here, have a little bit of this, here, have a little bit of this. And we're both doing it. And then the aggregate of that thing makes this um, other other sound. Particularly, there was a bit like maybe a third in or something like that where we're both doing kind of like kind of poppy, clicky, shorter sounds yeah. that I think um, it gets a, a little bit more fused um, together which is, yeah, from the preparations or me, like doing very muted or aggressive plucks here. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'm thinking if I leave it for the next one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how, how do you manage? So like when, when you have preparations or things like this, like mid performance or, um, yeah, like what do you, like, is it like, uh, d does your brain stop and now you have to do housekeeping of, of putting things in or do you like in the performance try to still try to be in it while doing yeah i would because normally i don't i mean there is improvisation in my performances but it's not the, the main thing so usually i know what it's going to happen in like the base of the improvisation if it's if i'm going to use it here mm. i know it uh, in this moment so i prepare myself for that if i'm going to use it yeah, yeah. and then if not well uh, then I try to, yeah, I try to take it while I'm, I'm playing the other stuff and I try to, to take it out. But this one is, is, is hard. So, no, yeah, because it's like pinned. Yeah. Mm. So it takes <laughs> more time, <laughs> more patience. Mm. Sometimes I, I have to stop. So, like if I know that the, the next moment we don't, we don't need this, then I mm. have to. Have you stabbed yourself with it? Like, have you pricked yourself? Ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm starting to, to get used to it. Uh, <laughs> because, yeah, like if I take it, uh, try to take it quick from a place that it's... <laughs> mm, doesn't like it. <laughs> no. Yeah, a friend of mine that would play guitar, I mean, he played quite aggressively with his fingers and he would often get like oh, cuts and blood yeah. and yeah, that's a whole... It's a different no, kind of... A, more, a lot of expression. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some people measure it by sweat, but I think blood is... Blood. Yeah, we, we gotta get blood the on the guitar. The real thing. Yeah. <laughs> um, what I didn't... I, I mean, I, when I was playing, I was kind of in the zone, but I didn't see when you put the little wooden palette thing in there. Uh -huh. Yeah, the, that sounds really good. But like, is that, did you make that? No, so it's from... Oh, it's the top of the box. It's the top of the box. I just, I was experimenting with things inside and then I thought I could experiment with the top. Yeah, yeah. And because it creates also yeah, a yeah, new... A little bridge thing. A new bridge, yeah. Yeah, it, it totally looked, because the width as well is kind of like the, the width of the yeah. neck, so it, it, it totally looked like, you should have said yes, I would have believed <laughs> you made this like perfect little guitar uh, ramp or whatever. <laughs> yeah. But I, I find it very interesting how you can just find, like, this was also at mm. our place and uh, I just found it in a, 
somewhere in, in, in our house and I experimented with it, with it and it's also, sometimes it seems perfect but, and you just found it on the street and just found it yeah, yeah. in your home. Uh, a, a friend of mine, um, Wade, who, who did, I did one of these performances with him, in Spain they have those street sweeper vehicles that they come around and they have like the metal brushes that they <laughs> scrape the street. And he had a few of them because sometimes the, the blades fall off and you're just on the street. And he really liked them for uh, bowing or he did something with them with a drum or no, sorry, with, with, with a laptop setup. So while we were living in Spain, I would always like, and I found like four or five of them because they just end up falling off. But it's just, yeah, just like random things that end up being really perfect because it's like a very thin piece of metal that I, I don't know how you would buy that. It's, you know, so just mm -hmm. you have to wait until the street sweepers start breaking down and you go yeah. find, <laughs> find the perfect bits. Yeah. Um, yeah, shall we play some more? Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Thank you.